Okay, so I'm going to show you how to use replay video capture in demo mode. Um, the only difference between demo mode and the fully functional mode is that you're limited to two minutes of video recording in demo mode. Um, but let's just assume that I've just downloaded the program. Um, what typically happens when you first download it is the, the program asks to do an audio test to ensure that the settings um, that it has for your audio configuration will work. Um, as best as it can to record your audio. So um, the way you can get to that manually, since I've already downloaded the program, um, is you just click on settings as I've just done and you just go to audio setup test. Click on that. And for some reason nothing is, there you go. Okay, so um, here is the audio test. This is what you're going to see when you first install the program. Um, what the program does is it goes out to my system, it detects my audio sources, my audio inputs, and then it asks me to run a test to ensure that um, it's set up properly to record properly. So let's run the test. I'll turn off my mic. All right, so it's run the test. It's made the little bubbly noises. My recording is okay, so that means I'm ready to record. So the only thing that I need to do now is go ahead and um, let the program know what area of my screen I want to record. And before I do that, let me just quickly go back to the settings really fast. Um, the settings are uh, the recommended settings. The developer has set these uh, for you. The only thing that I have changed is I've gone from MPEG-2, which is um, very high quality video capture to Windows Media 9 and the only reason I did that um, is because I'm actually making a video of a video so I need to just limit some of the the power that my computer is using um, but other than that I mean optimum optimal video capture would be using MPEG-2 um, but other than that I haven't adjusted any of these other settings I'm just gonna click OK oh let me just bring up one other thing quickly if I'm running a PC with XP, if I were running Vista, there's a box here, Use Vista Audio Recording, that you would check. So that's one thing of note. And let me just click out of here. One other thing of note, go back to settings. If you run the audio test and for some reason um, the test does not um, say OK, that it, it can't find a recording source that works, then you would enable the universal audio drive all, driver here by just clicking Enable. And there is more information about that in um, our support section. But anyway, so assuming that you've run your audio test, everything is fine, now you just need to um, let the program know what you want to capture. I'm going to go find something to record, and I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, I've brought up the Fox.com site, and I have an episode of House Playing on their little player. So what I want to do is tell Replay Video Capture what part of my screen to capture. So I click on this lovely little feature, the Get Window button. I just move my mouse over the player, and uh, da -da, we've got this bright green border around it. I click my mouse again. That is now selected that region of the screen to record. I'm now going to click Play here and record. He's swollen. I need a trait kit. His throat's closing. And I'm going to stop this now. Stop this. Okay, I'll minimize this now. There we go. Um, and then to play it back, it's very easy. You just click play. It brings up my Windows Media Player. I need a trait kit. His throat's closing. And there you go. So, sorry, that wasn't a very happy video, was it? Uh, minimize that. And that's all there is to it. So you have learned how to um, run the audio test if you need to. You've learned how to tell replay video capture what portion of the screen to capture. And you've seen how easy it is to play back your recordings. All very simple and fun and works on literally any site on your computer. So it's a really great tool to have at your disposal. I hope you have fun making lots of fabulous videos. Enjoy.